we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we are back with more King's Bounty the Legend. And yeah, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. We have a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do, and unfortunately, through switching computers and everything else, uh, series kind of fell off a little bit again, but I'm eager to get back into it. I'm slowly basically adding and, and installing a collection of things that I really want to push to finish, and King's Bounty is definitely one of them. I know King's Bounty 2 is looming, I want to say, next month, almost exactly on from when I'm recording this. So, there's a tremendous amount of work to do, if it's even possible, I'm not entirely certain, but that's neither here nor there. Alright, let's look at our quest log now. Alright, uh, nobody knows what happened there. You and uh, Trigum are to fly to... Alright, the dirigible. Got it. Stinky Elixir, old Shvaka, wants to cause some mischief, mis mischief for Dwarf Foretop. And hopefully rid the swamp of him, she suggested pour a stinky elixir into his cauldron, which I think is about what we were going to do. Is this the cauldron? Or is the cauldron further down? An alchemical flask. Might be the cauldron. I say we uh we talk with the, the dwarf. Yep. Hey, watch out. There are chemicals around. You don't know what everything is, so be careful. Hmm, who are you? And you, don't you see? Your eyes seem to be in the right place. Do you suffer from a squint? I'm a dwarf. And not only that, but an alchemist of the First Order. You can call me Dear Sir Foretop. Uh, thank you, my dear Sir Foretop. Uh, alchemist dwarf? What is an expert in alchemical science doing in these swamps? These swamps are an invaluable font or fount of rare alchemical elements and ingredients. However, they are in their primitive state and it's impossible to extract them without various operations of distillation and hydro hydrolysis. Look, why are you pestering me? Are you trying to worm my secrets? I'll get out of here. No, no, no. I was, I was, just, I was just passing by. Have you got anything for sale? Show me what you've got. Ooh. He does have some stuff for sale. Well, the helmet's kind of hot garbage. Uh, the alchemist, are they ranged? I want to say they are ranged. No melee penalty. Mm, and then we have uh, stinky zombie boys. Decaying zombies. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. What do we have for... Oh, hold on. What do we have for our reserves? Ugh. Well... I don't know if I really want to get rid of anything. Do, well, do you think, uh, do you think he will, uh, get upset if... Oh, no. What happened? Teehee. I forgot I should randomly be digging always. Always be digging, right? What, what this place? Oh, yeah, I can garrison some stuff here. That's right. Frogus Squelch. We could get some of these uh, werewolf elves, which I believe aren't that bad, but I'm not going to go with it now. Uh, is there a way of telling? Okay, yeah, up there it tells us. They are level 3. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought they were level 3. Alright, so what do I want to leave behind? If we're going to get the alchemists. We're pretty low on, like, everything. Except for our arch wizards, they're not. And we're not too bad on our priests. Oh, we're really low on our. Okay, we're gonna put our griffins away. Um. I think I'm gonna put the pirates away too. Because I think I'm gonna bring these in. And I think I'm going to go get the dwarves, if he's still willing to sell to me. I mean, I don't know if he knew that I was the one that stinkified his place. Well, 
actually, what are the splinters around my house and why does it stink so much? Oh, we got very limited versions of these. All right. You gave me the stinky elixir and asked me to pour it into your cauldron. Well, you can see the result for yourself. The cauldron is broken. A viscous liquid is spread all around and stinks terribly. Uh, you know what? I'll be back. Let's go turn in our quest and see if we can't uh, walk away kind of the winner here, so to speak. All right, uh, clean frogs and herbs, maybe some for your stocks for sale. A level two snake again. Does that say a fireproof shield? Fire resistant. Not too bad. I don't remember who wanted me to stink everything up, unfortunately. Was it you? Frog Fionora. Well, how is everything going? Have you managed to free my sister frogs from the cruel Earl Argus? Not yet, my green queen. I'll get back. Uh, I'll be back. All right, here's the witch's house. And out. How to find the right crypt in the cemetery? I'd like to buy something. I'm here about the dwarf. You've returned. Did you get? Did you get to the dwarf? Yes. Uh, it was really something. His cauldron with his chemicals shattered. It's a good thing I wasn't injured or worse. So what about the dwarf? Will he be leaving the swamp? I don't know. I didn't talk to him. It's a pity. You might have learned a new, a lot of new dwarven curses from him. Ah, dwarves are very good at using foul language. But thank you, my darling. Um, I closed it, so I might still be able to talk to him. That's interesting. Oh, it's gonna make me go this way. All right, that's fine. We will make it work. We're, we're trying to utilize the the full mouse movement in a rotating camera. I think it's a cool it's a cool feature, right? All right, I'm gonna talk to him. This is perfect. Did you hear how loud the explosion was? I've been looking for an ingredient for the creation of a special explosive mixture for a long time. And here it is. What luck. I'll call this mixture a stink bomb. What do you think? So you're not angry? Of course not. Why should I be angry? You're the key to the experiment. I am most grateful to you and to this old witch who gave you the idea to use such an ingredient. By the way, about the ingredients. Do you like to do an important job for me? Are you headed towards the cemetery? You dwarves are strange creatures. I do a bad thing and you are grateful. Oh, okay. Come on, tell me. Uh, what kind of job do you have? I have a helper zombie called Norik. He's wandering around the cemetery collecting various useful things for me. He'll come back in three days as we arranged. But I need the ingredients he has for the experiment right now. So I have a request. Find him there and take whatever he has managed to gather. I'll repay your kindness. OK, I'll try to find him. Uh, where should I look for him, approximately? Usually he walks in the western part of the cemetery. Search there first. All right, do I have a map button? I do. Okay, so we've uncovered a fair portion of this. I don't think we've stepped into the land of the cemetery 100% yet. But very much like... It, it's not gonna... Okay, there we go. I, like, it's not gonna spin me right round, baby, right round. I tried to make it happen. I gotta figure out what I gotta do for the Earl, too. Alright. Uh, about the dwarf, uh, something... I'm afraid he will not. He is he was not the in the least upset. On the contrary, he was actually quite pleased. As it turns out, he was experimenting with explosives and was having quite some difficulty discovering a suitable one. Your potion was the best he had ever conceived of, so he sends you his greetings and uh, great thanks. Also, he promised to send a present as a sign of gratitude, sorry to say. He is strange, this for top. You play a dirty trick on him and he thanks you. Who could understand these dwarves? Well, uh, th thank you, good man. We're trying to help. Come again. I'll always be glad to see you. All right. Thank you, Granny. It was, it was cool. Um, I want to buy some stuff. You got spiders. I mean, I don't really want the spiders. They're level one, so I thought. And level two. Yep. Poison skull. I have some questions for you, kind lady. 
Uh huh. Everyone questions. Nobody has answers. People go here, ask questions, and then silverware disappears. Although I've never had it, the silverware. I mean, ha ha ha. Well, go ahead. Ask what you wanted to ask. Ask, ask. But remember, a lot of knowledge brings a lot of troubles. Mm, Why does uh, the witch's coven have a problem with mages? I'd like to join the witch's coven. And what is such a terrible and disgusting woman doing in such a wise and gentle place as this? I mean, I mean vice versa. What else can a witch do? She's right at home in the swamp. It's the right place for a real witch. Professional environment, so to speak. I see. I have other questions. I'd like to join the witch's coven. You? The coven? Ha! <laughs> I'm dead. You just killed me with your joke. The searcher cuts without a sword, travels without a horse. He's invented a new magic, tells people jokes, and they die on the spot. No, not everyone can join the coven. In addition to talent, one needs to have certain special skills and characteristics. For example, do you know any evil spells or crafty designs? Can you cast a jinx on somebody or do any harm like that? Cast a jinx? Sure, even sour cream turns more sour for my look, not to mention milk. I could look at somebody with evil, good, open, or squinted eye, provided there is uh, somebody to look at. All right. Harm? Sure, I'm pretty good at that. When I was a child, I was very clumsy, and I harmed, uh, I broke a lot of things. I'm going to go with uh, this. Eh, what about your bravery? Aren't you afraid of darkness or spiders? Can you go to the cemetery on a moonless night? What if you need to take a toad or a worm in your hands? I remember when I wanted to join the coven. I used to squeal and squeal because of frogs. I have enough bravery. I am a knight after all. Toads? Spiders? I used to eat them alive on a dare when I was a knight in, no, in, in night school. No, that's not true. I wasn't lucky in playing cards, so I had to do it. Of course, it wasn't pleasant, but it was quite tolerable. Hmm... Hmm, are there a lot of spiders? Are, are they very hairy and go goggle-eyed? I, I, I don't mean I'm afraid of them, I just... What am I saying? Of course I'm not afraid. I am a knight, after all. Do you know much about herbs roots, for example? Can you distinguish a wolf root from a climber? Can you make a fly agaric and break herb tea? Tell you honestly, I don't know much about herbs, but I had a roommate at school and he used to make a lot of herbal tea, which could make you chase imps on the ceiling all night long. Actually, I grew up without a mother and father, so I understand something about cooking. I know what should be put into food and make it good and tasty. I also know what to use if you want to make it taste bad and make you feel bad later. Let's go with that one. Good, what about sacrificing? Are you afraid of blood? Will you be able to kill a harmless innocent animal for which is right? And a dark spell. Oh, you can't imagine how many animals I've killed. And finally, the most important thing. Ah, here we go. The thing without which even the strongest sorcery and forbidden knowledge will not help you to join the coven. You must be a woman. The coven is only for witches, and only women who do witchcraft and sorcery can join the coven. And you don't look very much like a witch. Dang it, you got me, old woman. All right, all right. I've had your fun enough. It's my fault. I should have put two and two together. You've taught me a lesson. Don't be angry with me. I'm just an old fool. I wanted to have a little fun. See so you, you boasting about your talents. Yeah. What is this lost town? Why is there so much fuss? I know very little about this. Sometimes people say that the witches are assistants to necromancers, but these death magicians don't like us any more than they like other wizards. We don't deal with death. We deal with ancient forces, very distant from the real darkness. I only know that this town was hidden by necromancers from the crusade. They hid it so well nobody can find it, even now. Let's see, other questions? Okay, I think that's it. Alright, I think I got all the information I needed from there. And it's very possible, and I apologize if I have already done so, that I already, like, got all that info before. We can go talk with Frogus Magogus, I suppose. All right, I'm looking for a girl name is Martha D. Nope. Oh, okay. That is strange. What might, what need might you have of me? I am Martha. You see, I came to you from Arlania with a message from Carl Leonar himself. He sends to you a letter sealed with the royal seal as a proof of his royal ancestry. He asks you to be his wife. What do you say? Oh dear. 
It was not without reason that I have refused him so many times. How persistent he is. Look at me, Bill Goldberg. What kind of wife can I be for the king's brother? I am almost 100 years old. Poor Carl. He did not even notice the date on the manuscript. Those works of mine are almost 50 years old already. However, I must admit that I like Carl. He is such an educated and interesting man. Oh, how I wish I were younger now. I even asked my mother for help, but she was unable to finish her rejuvenation potion. Who's your mother if you're already 100 years old? She lives not far from here. Her name is Old Schwaka. She is the most famous witch of the swamp. I still have much to learn before I can match her odds. Listen, my dear, can you help me make the potion? I can reduce my age 50 years, and I can become a worthy wife for Carl. Can you help me? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll do it. Well, we got all sorts of stuff that we got to do over in this place. Don't worry, I will deal with you and your sister soon, frog lady. Alright, uh, I want to find out the right crypt of the cemetery. Uh, what do you think? I remember which crypt it is. It was a long time ago, memory. It's... Trust your feelings. Alright. I thought I did that one before, that's why I didn't want to do it again. Alright, I came on the purpose of your daughter. I was sent here. Okay, what does she want? She asked me to get the rejuvenation potion from me. She asked me to get the rejuvenation potion from you, and if you don't know the recipe, please tell me which one she's talking about, Granny. Look at him, what a smart guy. He hadn't asked me for a potion. He needed the powder, not the potion, but I don't know anything about magic powders. The potion now, that I could make. I have a family recipe. But tell me why she needs the potion. It seems she wants to get married. She is almost 100 and still has no children. Get married? Oh, this is funny. I told her that all men are evil, and she keeps saying, I want to, I want to. Okay, if she wants to get married, let her get married. Let me see if I have everything for the rejuvenation potion. So snake wings, rattle spider legs, snake wings? Sorry, uh, stone blood, triton tear. So I have this. Okay, well, that's, aha. I don't have a red water lilies. We need to get them in the swamp. Could you bring me five water lilies? Could you go get some, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, water lily collection, go! It should be fine. I hope, anyway. We'll see. It feels good to be playing this again. I really like this one a lot. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not guns to lie to y'all. I do like the King's Bounty series. It's one of those ones that I, I believe I have everything there is King's Bounty related. Maybe, maybe I'm missing a DLC or something. That was what three of the five that I need. However, uh, I've only played through the vast majority of this first one, and I've never got—I never got through it. I—I I lost my save file, so I've never been able. So now, now is the time I'm going to finally be able to do it, which I'm super excited about. But um, it just shames me that I haven't got to play through one of these yet, all the way. All right, so we have done—we have dunced the guns to thing. And we as Bill Goldberg shall reign supreme. All right. Um, found the red flowers. Give them to me. The witch snatches the lilies and smells them. Ah, and they are fresh, just as I need. Good job, young lad. I take you to be my assistant, but a witch uh, has to either have a girl or a black cat. What if I turn you into a cat? Would you like that? I I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, wait, wait a little bit. I'll put the lilies into the boiler, and in a couple of minutes, the potion will be ready. Wait. Which indeed returned rather quickly. You even get the impression that she had already made the potion even before she sent you for the lilies. Here it is, darling, the rejuvenation potion. I got the recipe from my great-grandmother. I hope it is not too strong, because I remember how I had to clean the night pod for my great-grandmother. And change her diapers. She wanted to be young again, but made a little mistake about the proportions. Thanks. I feel like this is not going to go well. I feel like a mommy dearest is not going to be super kind to her daughter. But we'll see. I, I'm just do, I'm just doing, you know, the, the tasks that are here before me. Yes, here it is. Please, please come back in a bit. It's a bit. Oh, oh, it worked. Excellent. Everything is just excellent. So how do you like me in my new appearance? You are 
bewitching. <laughs> you see what I did? This? Carl has a truly wonderful fiance. Do you want me to accompany you to him? No, it is not necessary. I know a shortcut. Haha, <laughs> but take this. It is my gift to you. Item received. What? Uh, thank you. And good luck with Carl. What'd you give me? It probably popped up somewhere while I was still reading. Crap. Well, I don't think she gave me the Dwarven Beer purse. Nope. Maybe this. By Ancient Elven Craftsman. Plus one to the initiative of elves. Minus one to the morale of dwarves. Oh, are you an elf? You are a werewolf elf. Morale low, morale low. Hmm. What if I switch you out with someone else? What if I switch you for this? Okay. Can't have the both of you in the in the party at the same time. Oh yeah, we're definitely hurting. Alright. That should be fine for now. I think we accomplished a fair bit of stuff. Let's go see. I don't remember what the uh, the frogman wanted me to do or if I even talked with him. Hey frogman, what's up? What did, what this? Student intellect? Mm. Uh, right, talk to you. Ah, I have guessed, have I not? I salute you, traveler. How did you come so far and not disappear into the bog? Good day to you, my, uh, uh good uh, man? Me, man? Ho, 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 croak, ho, ho, croak, ho, ho. I am not a man. I am a frogman, and my name is Squelch. I'm the owner of the brown Heisen, I guess. Cousin? Cleanse? I don't know. Castle, uh, who are you? I am Bill Goldberg, the treasure seeker of his majesty, King Mark. Listen, I have already met someone who looks like you. You aren't brothers by any chance, are you? Someone who looks like me? Oh, you probably mean uh, Bagaba. Yes, we are siblings. Actually, I have two brothers, Bagaba and Bagus. We were born by a girl frog who was turned into a princess. I'm the eldest, then comes Bagaba, and Bogus, or Bogus, is the youngest. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. So, princess frogs give birth to frogmen. It is as you say, we children of frogs are special. We are unusually developed by human standards. We are just children. I am the eldest. I am ten. Bagaba is eight, and Bogus only five years old. Hmm. I look human. Can you help me, eh? Depends on what you ask. You see, I am the eldest frogus. My brother, uh, Bagaba, does not want to swear fealty to me. Can you hoist my flag over his house and make him swear fealty? Right. Put the swamp in order. I got it. Give me the flag. I'll do it quickly. Wonderful. As soon as you finish... Come back immediately. Of course, everyone likes a reward. By the way, what kind of reward will it be? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, don't doubt it for a second. Your reward will be 2,900 gold coins, and you'll learn a little something as well. All right. Well, looks like I'm in a sibling rivalry. And I got a whole bunch of stuff to do, and we got a little bit of time left. We can still move around and get some things done, probably. All right, we're we're going into other areas of the old swampy, swampy, rompy, plompy place. Oh boy! All right, uh, well, the the ferryman, the ferryman. Is there is there a reason to do it? So is there anything to do with the ferryman? The swamp house. What do you want me to do with the swamp house? Oh, it's a frogus of uh, bogus. Hello, traveler. I'm Bill Goldberg. Aren't you related to the froguses who live at the swamp? Yes, I am Squelch and uh, Bagaba's younger brother. I see. You look so much alike. Okay. Apparently, I don't need to be here right now. Crossroads Tavern. Deeper in is this Frog's Castle Mooden. This must be it. 
Oh, he he is dead sexy. He's not. Ooh, a royal thorn. I think it's pretty epic. Ooh, it's bad. Do I have a belt? Oh, I don't know. Maybe? You again? What else do you want from me? Well, your brother, Squelch, wants you to obey him and fly his flag over your castle. What's that you said? What does he want? That's never going to happen, and you, you, your body will rot in a swamp. I'll see to that personally, Croak. Look, we'll see who's going to rot. If you don't want to do it the easy way, we'll do it the hard way. Attack the frogman. Oh, I feel like I may have made a, mis a mistake. You got a large army of nasty things. Hmm. I don't know the range that we have right now. Okay, we're gonna go with something like that. I'm glad at least he had to wait. Okay. And attack A! Alright, I don't know how good or bad that was, but we did it. Berserker, target friendly, no, not what I was hoping for. Help us in slow haste. Summon a phoenix. Seems like that could be useful. Little frog crawling around back there. Yeah, look at my my dead sexy phoenix. Gonna roll out over here and be like, Kah -kah! Yeah, they really mess that thing up. All right, we've got potion of poison. Throw a bottle, which inflicts damage. Fire water does damage, and holy water, which does damage. And it looks like. Oh, we can chuck it out that way. Let's do the holy water on to you. Hola heal. Alright, what's next? Alright, okay. I turned up combat animation speed. I don't know what that's going to do exactly, but I turned it up. So, I suppose we'll find out. Um, guess we'll hit you. They really don't like that phoenix existing. Like, they're real upset with it. Oh, we didn't finish. Dang it. Thought for sure we'd have that. Alright, we'll let the bear come out and do some bear things. Looks like we're going to be losing some more swordsmen. And potentially other things. Oh yeah, swordsmen are going to be dying. I want to say by the, you know, like by a tremendous amount, but there's going to be a fair few dead, uh, dead dealies. Ooh, we, we did a multitude hit there. That was kind of impressive. I'll take it. All right, fire water. Snakes are a little scary, if I'm being 100% honest. How much health do we have left with our, uh, do we know? 19. 19 health left with our boys. Oh, you set our bear. She'll strike you. Alright, we, we have more than enough rage to drop the smashing sword on someone. Let's go ahead and do that. I should have done it earlier. Despite popular belief, I did not forget. Phoenix should rise again. Oh, I don't like it. 
like that. Rebirth! Get away from me. I imagine the poison's not gonna really do much, is it? Come on, boys. At least our bear will finally get a chance to, to hit something here. Can he not move at all? Did he get hit with like a slowing poison? I really don't like you at all, do they? Alright, let's do this. I'm pretty sure I can survive your counterattack. Even if it is nasty. Oh no, did I hit my own person? Oh, that sucked if I did. This has been pretty brutal, I'm not gonna lie. What, what can you do? You can counterattack. Man, they really don't like them, do they? Alright, that's it for them. They're donezo. So we'll drop another sword on you. Will be enough? It is. Maybe you. That snake is gonna go and step away and then do damage. I mean, I don't. Is it even worth. Probably should have killed the guy at, the, at a distance there. Ugh. I could summon another phoenix, but there's, there's not much point, honestly. Alright, we're still okay. Yeah, we're still fine. Big hit. Gonna have to step up. Nice counterattack. Maybe enough? Good old Frogus Magogus is uh, being difficult. Okay, he is down now. Okay, that's fine-ish, whatever. How much longer? One, one more rest, okay. Big, super nasty battle. All right, we won. But at what weird and twisty cost? Our army was uh, pretty hurt, but we did level up too, so that's nice. All right, we can get Smashing Sword, increases the damage from 120 to 150 to 170 to 210, or we can get the Stone Wall ability. Uh, stone wall three cells can be destroyed health 100 lifetime two I think I still just want straight damage right now We're gonna choose we can choose attack or mana. I think we already know what we're gonna choose And we're back That's it that's it I surrender you win you can put your flag up I, I'll see that nobody takes it down So why did you resist you sent servants to their deaths in vain? Well, all right, in that case, I'll ask you to take uh, talk to my younger brother. 
Bogus lives somewhere between the marsh and the cemetery. Tell him he has to fly my flag over his house. I'm older than him, so he must obey me. I'll come to you later. I'm already sick of your quarrels. Hmm, well, I'll try. Why are you trying to expand your dominion? Do all froggesses have such obsessions with where their flags fly? I like it when everyone obeys me. I just want everyone's respect. I can't understand this, but I'll try to help. I actually don't want to help him because it's going to hurt me. Because he is mean and nasty and he does bad things to me. And I do not approve. Nor do I really have enough oomph to do much else, honestly. Yeah. Do you, do you have anything? Oh, you do. They're, they're right there. Um, okay, okay, okay. That's fine. All right. All right. Let's go back to our quest. Just before... Sorry. Our quest. Before we uh, go and we do what we need to do here. Uh-huh. So do about... I did that. Jump from the cemetery. I'll do that. Rescue the frogs. It's Earl Argus. This castle is to the east of Darien. Alright, maybe we'll end up doing that one next. Maybe, I, I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be another battle. We're going to have to probably replenish troops before we do much else. Let's go return to um, to our, our eldest Frogus and get him his quest turn in and then see where that puts us and what we can do to try to survive. Before we step over there, let's see if we've leveled up enough or what have you to... No, I haven't gotten around to the cemetery yet. Oh, you're not going to let me get more of your dwarven alchemists? Alright, I guess you're you're very uh, detailed slash task oriented there, friend. Well, that's okay. That is okay. So, what if I... If I wanted to buy more. Did my leadership not go up when I leveled up? I thought that always went up. Apparently not. Alright, it's fine. Ah, uh, there you go. Thank you, I'm pleased that you... That he has now recognized my seniority and power. I'm very glad about our victory. Uh-huh. Yeah, it seems uh, that I made all your family happy. Alright, what is this? Can I put that up on you anywhere? No. Uh, hunter to leadership definitely seems like the, the better play snake egg spider egg uh, what's this a jug of strong uh, barley ale it gives 20 rage and minus 20 mana 3 gulps huh Well, like I said, we're going to have to do something to rectify our just lack of everything as it stands. We're going to have to replenish our forces. So, I guess I'll break out the episode here, guys and gals, and we'll continue our wandering around and trying to get stronger in the next episode. We've done a fair bit of stuff in the swamp thus far, so I'm pretty happy about that. But it looks like there's still quite a bit left to do, and... Before we're able to do that, well, we're going to have to end the episode. So, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. Always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.